Welcome to our lecture online. Now for part four, we're actually ready to calculate the geodesic, the shortest distance between New York and Los Angeles. So what we need to know is we need to know the latitude and longitude uh, coordinates. So it's 40.74 for New York on the latitude and longitude is minus 73.99. For LA, it's 34.05 and minus 118.24. The radius of the Earth is 6,371 kilometers, which is 3,960 miles. And this was the equation that we got for the position vector for any point on the surface of the Earth. So now what we need to do is plug in the latitude and the longitude for each of the two cities inside this equation. So starting for New York, we can say that the position vector for New York uh, is equal to the radius of the Earth, which is 3,960 miles, multiplied times the cosine of the latitudes, that would be the cosine of 40.74, multiplied times the cosine of minus 73.9, 99 I should say, like this, and that would be in the I direction, plus the cosine of gamma, that would be plus the cosine of 40.74 multiplied times the sine of phi, so that's this, multiplied times the sine of minus 73.99, that would be in the j direction, I'm running out of room already, and then plus the sine, plus the sine of 40.74 in the k direction, like that. And that will give us the position vector for New York. Now let's do the same for Los Angeles. So for LA, we have the position vector for LA is equal to 3960 miles times so that would be the cosine of 34.05 multiply times the cosine of minus 118.24. That's in the i direction plus the cosine of 34.05 times the, let's see here, that would be the sine of minus 118.24. 0.24, that's in the j direction, and then finally plus the sine of 34.05 in the k direction. There we have the two position vectors, the one for New York and the one for LA. Now we want to know the angle between the two. So to the center of the earth, we're going to have an angle, and what we call that angle, we call that angle alpha. All right, and how do we do that? We know that alpha is going to be the inverse cosine of the dot product of the two vectors. Uh, dot r, that would be LA, and this would be New York, divided by the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector, which would be r squared, like this. And notice, that will take care of the 3960 times 3960 divided by the radius squared. So all we have left is equal to the dot product of what's here. And so what I need to do now is I need to multiply this times this and add that to the multiplication of this times this and add that to the multiplication of this times this. We're simply going to multiply the x-coordinates together, the y-coordinates together, and the z-coordinates together. So we need a calculator for that. So 40.74, take the cosine of that, and multiply the time, 73.99, take the cosine of that. And we need to multiply that times the cosine of this. So the times 34.05, take the cosine times 118.24. Point two four negative, take the cosine of that, close, equals, and that gives me a minus 0 0.0819. All right, so now what I've done is I've taken the component of this and multiplied times the component of this. 
Then I have to add that to plus. I'm going to multiply this together and multiply that times this together. So, all right, we get 40.74. Multiply times the cos. I'll take the cos out of that. Times 73.99 negative. Take the sign of that. Multiply that times 34.05. Take the cos out of that. And multiply that times 118. 0.24 negative, take the sign of that, equals, and that gives me plus 0 0.5316. And then I add that to the last part, I take the sign of 40.74, 40.74, take the sign, multiply that times 34.05, take the sign of that, equals, and that is plus 0 0.3654. So that's the dot product of two position vectors. And of course, I need to multiply that times 3960 squared and divide that by 3960 squared. So the, obviously those two will cancel out. And let's see what the angle then is. The angle is going to be equal to the arc cosine of that. So add that to plus 0.5316 minus 0.0819 equals, so let's write that down, the angle is equal to the inverse cosine of, I got 0 0.8151, and if I take the arc cosine of that, I get 34, 35.40 degrees. So I have an angle now between LA and New York. The angle between the two position vectors from the center of the Earth, one to New York, one to LA, the angle between that is 35.40 degrees. Now what is the distance along the geodesic? Now we can say that the distance is going to be equal to the ratio of 35.40 degrees divided by 360 degrees, which is all the way around the Earth. Multiply that times the total circumference of the Earth, which is 25,000 miles pretty close to that number. So divide by 360 times 25,000 and we get a distance between the two cities of 2,458 miles. In case you're curious to see what that is in kilometers, so we, mult we uh, multiply that on 1.609 so that would be equal to 3,956 kilometers as the distance between New York and LA. And that is how we calculate the distance between any two points on the Earth. We find the latitude and we find the longitude. Then we plug that into this equation. And then we find the angle between those two vectors. And that is how it's done.